Chris Martin. Oh, you're kidding me. September. Oh, Kyle Lafferty. Are you joking me? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome along to the shoutiest segment on Irish Radio and a multitude of other platforms. It's the scintillating, it's the stupefying, it's the splendido crappy quiz. Every Friday, but coming to you on Thursday, this week, we pit three of Team Off the Ball up against each other in our quiz of sporting factoids at the end of the week. Allow me to welcome tonight's contestants. Our first contestant today is the King of Outrage, and this week he's outraged with the Prime Minister of New Zealand for suggesting that the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny are essential workers. What are you thinking? He shouted at the TV last night. We don't know where that stupid rabbit has been. I don't want him anywhere near my kids. Give it up for Adrian, who's your daddy, Barry? What happened? Um, I don't know. Come on. <laughs> it's fallen it's flat. Exactly, it's fallen exactly, flat. Exactly, exactly what he said happened. Happened. Um, we are welcome, Adrian. Good to have you back. Oh, I'm delighted we to be are, here. We are welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm a champ champ, just in case it needs pointing out to the audience. No, I think you'll find that uh, I'm the reigning champion with one of the most crushing performances seen ah. in the modern day crappy quiz. Who was, have, really? we, have we had anybody in recent times get to double figure zone? I don't think so, actually. Who cares? Impressive. Move on. It was 11 points. Got all the rapid fire questions correct. It was a sight to behold. But you're here today to put a stop to that. Our next contestant is looking forward to a more chilled out Easter this weekend than he's usually used to. His formative years during Easter weekend were spent crucifying the cans on the Friday, hitting the clubs of Ballyhawness on the Saturday, before waking up in a cave on the Sunday, pushing a boulder aside and rising from the dead. Give it up for Nathan Nate Dog Murphy. Tell you, there were nights in Midas nightclub in Ballyhawness that uh, weren't too dissimilar to that. <laughs> Midas. Did it open? At, did it open at midnight on a Friday night? On, uh, on Good Friday? I, yeah, I think it did. No, there was another nightclub, a smaller one, I think, that opened at midnight on a on a Friday. I, 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 I yeah, I don't ever really remember doing that. Cans much. didn't feel like there was much of a thing where you'd like have a load of cans and then hit it into town at, at midnight on a Friday. No, cans used to be the same price as pints. That was the problem when we were in college. Honest. You get served in Balahonas when you're about 14, so I'm sure it was all the Well, way. that is true. Six cans of just gold for Friday. fiver. So Midas nightclub where everything you touch turned to gold? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's a, an appropriate answer for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hashtag me too. Uh, let's round up our introductions. Our final contestant today is a man who wanted a less wordy intro to the quiz last time. Round one, the boring questions round, never a multiple choice. <laughs> Question one for you, Adrian. Uh, Cork, got the well played, Rush- Cork got the Mount Rushmore treatment on ODBAM this week with Roy Keane easing into the reckoning. Can you name the schoolboy slash junior club he played for as a kid? Ah, come on. Dear God. Rockmount. Correct. I, don't, I, like, I know there's a documentary named after it and it's very, very famous, but... Who knows? Strange Listen, things he just happened. asked me to name a schoolboy club that like some random player played for and I've been able to pull it out of the hat. So move on. Champ, champ. Good knowledge. Nathan, this question came in for you from Cahill O'Rourke on Twitter a few weeks back, but we've been going year by year, so we never got around to it. We'll get around to it today. The Republic of Ireland senior men's team have played home games in nine venues around Ireland. Can you name eight of them? Oof. <laughs> oh. with that he's gone, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> I'm back <laughs> okay but I missed the question completely so the oh, Republic no. of Ireland senior men's team have played home games in nine venues around Ireland can you name eight of them alright uh, are Lansdowne Road and Viva Stadium two different places no they would be one okay uh, Tillamont one. Park correct uh, Tolmond Park three Turner's Cross four These are fully capped senior internationals. <laughs> yeah. 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 Crow sure. Park. Why not? Yeah. Five. Fully capped. Um, yeah. Fully capped. Because I remember being at a game at Daily Man Shut Park uh, during Trapatoni's reign when the Shut Republic up. of Ireland played. But this, it may be the point of the, the question where Nathan just Daily Man Park. Branches off. You've already said Daily said Man, haven't you? Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've said Lansdowne Road, um, Crow Park, Daily Mount, Turner's Cross, and Thomond. That's your five so far. Yeah, you're done. You're toast. You're you need out of there. three more. Not going to get them. Come on. No, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Senior <laughs> men's internationals. Turn <sighs> cross. Come on, we're going to need an answer. We're going to need at least one more to buy yourself a little bit more time here, Nathan. This is 
outrageous the time you're it's taking. It's struggling big time, isn't it? Yeah, I'm surprised by this. Yeah. Uh, on the island of Ireland or in the 26 counties? Uh, well, like Re- Republic of Ireland. No, 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 no would you believe the Republic of Ireland have had all their home games in the 26 counties? They are Lansdowne Road, Croke Park, Daly Mount. You forgot the RDS, Turner's Cross, Thoman Gosh. Park. You forgot Tolka Park, which is another one I thought. And then the last two were probably the last two. You might have got the Maradike and then the toughest one of the lot. Anybody else? Uh, Flower Lodge. Belfield. Yeah, Flower Lodge. Lodge. Yeah. So unfortunately, you don't score. RDS, I should have got that. Uh, Ger, question one for you. Sunderland Till I Die Season 2 has been a raging success on Netflix. Can you name the last Republic of Ireland footballer to play for the club? Aidan McGeady. Correct. Boom. Come on. Those questions are ridiculous <laughs> compared to my question. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Good question. I mean, if, only you were, if only you were football, an international football commentator, don't I? Think, you know, exactly. Like, lean slightly in your direction. Oh, come on. When we do football get questions... Man. When we do get questions in, Nathan, they are generally, uh, a couple of them are directed specifically for you. So you've got to respect the audience for wanting to challenge you. So thank you, Carl O'Rourke, for getting in touch with that one. Well, that was a good question. I should, have got, I should have got the RDS. It's a good question. Round two is the Guinness Poor Round. Yes, indeed. Uh-oh. It's a long weekend what? coming up. And crappy quiz contestants have proved that they have the attention span of a goldfish. They're having none of this year-by-year trivia anymore, but it will return next week. For now, let's let these lads play in their corner and do what they do best. In this round, they will have to pour a pint of Guinness from a can. The best pint. I didn't know anything about this. I definitely don't have one of these. I mean, Me too. I, that's, I mean, not how I, that's not how I go to work every day. Just to clarify here, the, the best pint will win two points. And shout out to Siobhan Foley on Twitter for getting in touch with the idea. Sorry, well, just, uh, just, see. Sorry just to clarify then a couple of things. Are we all pouring at the same time? No, we will start yes. with we will start with Adrian. We let him go for a couple of seconds, then on to Nathan, who'll go for a couple okay. of seconds, and on to Jer, right. and then we'll get into the settling period together. Um, However, and we should have advertised glass. this in advance so that Guinness yeah. might have given us a load of, of the good stuff for free. No, absolutely. All you, you all had to go out and buy your own cans. Absolutely, they can they can retrospectively. Well, Nathan came as a part of his giant mother load of booze that arrived during the dark. No, it didn't. I actually had to go and. Can, can I just separately. ask what are, what are we getting points awarded on here? Because you can't actually taste them. I'd like to know in advance qual- what your criteria are. Best You're not going to be able to see the quality of my pint because there's writing on my glass. That's the problem. Well, yeah, that's gonna, your, that's not my problem, gonna, is it? I mean, it is your problem because you won't be able to see how amazing my pint is. Well, we'll 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 see. We'll see. It could be so. What's good, the criteria on? Come on. Uh, good, good sized head. Good. Good, Ew. like the rest of it is just good, like just good quality, good looking pint. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> that's it, really. That is it. A good head on it is all we need. Adrian, Ew. you're starting us off. Are you ready? Sh- should I give it a go, like your man on the internet? There, should I give that a go? Because I'm, I'm like, if you think that can give you the most effective pint, like, absolutely. I'm gonna give it a go, yeah, to hell with it. Okay, let's go. So, Adrian Barry, first up. Pouring his pint of Guinness. So what did he do again? You just tip it in like this. I know you're disease Uh-oh. phobic, Uh-oh. Adrian. <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 Yes. No, no. Oh no. Oh. Okay, so he started he something there. He started. Nathan, you're yeah. up. Let's let's get you underway with with this while uh, right. Adrian Ooh, is in the background. <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> let's admit it before he stopped it. That's a. Oh, he has a Guinness glass. I thought none of us had Guinness glasses here, and his camera is gone. With my name, with my name on it. My name on settling right nicely, there. settling nicely. Ah, that's that's not fair. We'll be no, but that's not the uh, that's that's a new. I think the guy used a different type of Guinness glass, where the can doesn't go down quite as far. Right. Well, uh, Jer, it's up to you and your five lamps glass. What can you do for us? The can is open. The foam is out. Time to turn that baby upside down. Oh no! I won't lie. It, the sun is shining. It does feel like <laughs> it's a little bit too early for Guinness, but no, I guess it's not. I have to go with this. Right, Adrian, we're going right. to need your next step here. Can I apologise in advance to uh, Cora Staunton, who I have to interview straight after this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Our Better Call Saul recap of season three is going to be lit. Adrian is pulling it out. hey <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine. There's a good head on it. Oh, this is good. 
Nathan is Lads, looking good. Nathan is looking be, great. Joe, we're going to need to catch up here soon. Oh, that looks glorious. That, that does that not look bad. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Nathan's looks good oh. in the five lamps. Absolutely. Oh, wowzers. Bring that bad boy up to the camera. No, but you, you can't be giving him bonus points just because he's got an actual Guinness glass. That's not our fault. Well, Put like, my name on it. We'll, uh, we'll have to see once we get a good close-up. Oh, this it. looks exceptional. I'm, I'm going to take like it out of the double glass here so you can get the full... Adrian, oh, no, that camera. looks like now something something you'd oh, be drinking at about at 7 p.m. At, on Sunday evening at Electric Picnic look and you're, you're questioning your choices in life. Adrian, that's not bad. On, that's not bad. That's not bad, actually. She's a beauty. She's for, a beauty. On. She's still plastic settling. glass. Um, Nathan, let's see what you've got. It hasn't fully settled yet. Okay, yeah, so. but don't be giving him extra points because he's in the Guinness glass. Oh, it's ah. like a bishop's collar. He's ruined it. <laughs> you have. That head is way too big. He's made an absolute no, shambles. No, way no, too no, big. No. It's a that's bit like perfect. his, his Mayo Mount Rushmore. It's a shambles. <laughs> that, oh, that oh, that's way too small. That is way, the head on that is way too small. Lads, I'm not... What are you talking I, about? Going, there's a winner out here. What are you talking right about? Yeah, lads, what are you there? talking about? I can, I, can, talking? I can crown the winner here. Adrian Barry. Oh, no, that's perfect. Yeah, that's it. Get that in. is a lot. Look, look that's at that. Look, it looks perfect. perfect. It look. looks fine. Mine is. Cheers, lads. Oh, Adrian that's Barry in the plastic glass gets the two points. Look at that. Oh, look how small his head is. This isn't. This isn't. Mine is still settling. It's not over. Mine is perfect. Well, let me see yours, Nathan. Yours got a, like a hollow in the middle. Mine, I, mine is actually bigger than a pint glass. That was look, my problem. That here. is that. Is, lads, that's good. That is that a good point. That is pint. tasty and tempting. Well done, lads. That was. A roaring success. Thanks again to Siobhan Foley for the shout on that round. Uh, it may come back again sometime soon. Round three is... Yep. Sorry, go, go for it, Ger. He's just having a, a sip. Oh, uh, that's good. Round three is the goodbye Mick again round. This round of the test for knowledge on the second tenure of Oof. Mick McCarthy. Jesus, don't talk Don't talk Mick McCarthy with Gilroy after he's had half a pint. <laughs> I, might you, I might tell you the truth, what? Yeah. Never a good manager. Never a good manager. <laughs> a championship manager at best. Oh. I'm going to regret. Roughly. I'm going to regret this at about four o'clock today. No, I will be asleep. asleep in about an hour. Yeah. Having had a fight with all of your work colleagues on Zoom. <laughs> and another yeah. thing. Uh, round, uh, question three for you, Adrian. Oh, how that many is points, good. Points, how many points did I get for that? By the way, that's two. Look at the look at, look at the layering on it. Look look at the layering ah, on here. it. Good, Larry. For a plastic glass, that, that's a, a fine looking pint. That is beautiful. Like they're all, bad, they're all beautiful. They I all look like the greatest corporate whore of all time right now. They, well, they all are. have lovely heads. That's no different to any other day, Nathan, to be fair to you. Uh, Adrian, which of the following formations was never used by Mick McCarthy during his second tenure as Ireland boss? Was it A, 442, B, 451, C, 4312, or D, 433? Four three one two or four three three, like what's the? Uh, I'm going to go with probably four three one two. Correct. Yeah, never used uh, four three three. Have was you used. watched back every single minute of every Mick McCarthy game? I was to going be able by to stand over the fact that he never at any stage of the match played a four three one two. I should have rephrased that. But starting formations according to SoccerWay.com, which has all the formations laid out. Uh, four four two was played against Gibraltar at home. Four five one was played against Denmark away, and four three three played against uh, Georgia at home. I don't recall. And what about that. his first spell in charge? This is only to do with the second. Question. Question. Listen to the question. Listen to the question. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, question three. Who did you play four three three against? Georgia at home. Listen, no. move on. Nathan, move on. Nathan, listen. On to like, is, you. Will, will the quiz ever go past where Nathan isn't bitching him on? Daddy, Daddy, I thought you said you wouldn't drink at lunchtime anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you promised me yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought we'd spoken about this. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can project your own uh, conversations there, lads, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my, my kids see me drinking at home all the time. It's, uh, it's yeah. Mature it's attitude towards this. <laughs> yeah. Get out, go on. <laughs> uh, Nathan, uh, question for you. Question You're three. back behind the Google machine. <laughs> Nathan, oh, can you, can you name... Problem? This is getting out. Uh, can you name the three FAI CEOs during Mick McCarthy's second tenure as Ireland manager? Uh, Gary Owens. Yeah. Uh... Like when he took over, John Delaney. Yeah. <laughs> and 
Come on. Ding, 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 ding. Time up. Noel, Noel Mooney. No. 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 Noel Mooney was general manager. Ray the Walsh. operations director. What's uh, Ray Walsh? Ray Walsh. Ray Walsh. Yeah, was CEO for a while. Uh, was question. she? No, I thought she had a different title. Interim CEO. She did. She did after did a time, I? but she was CEO for a while. Yeah. According to Wikipedia or whatever his um, get out of jail terms and conditions like, apply. What, you, what is he looking up? Do you think? What he is he just, googling? Do you think he look ever at his computer. A, a wrong answer. What is, what is Nathan doing? <laughs> oh, look at his guilty face. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he is disqualified. He, take his. Seize his point. <laughs> Seize his points. That's the only way to dismiss him out any. More beer to get away. More beer. Uh, sure. Who is the who is the only player to be sent off during Mick McCarthy's second tenure as Ireland manager? Oh, come on, these questions are so bloody easy. The ones that you can't get right. You'll be happy to know there is no round four today, Nathan. It's straight into the rapid fires or into the numbers after this. So what? Give me, give me that hint there. Um, straight into the numbers. Uh, the hint. <laughs> no. Uh, give, just give us the name of no. the player who got sent off. No hint. It's easy. Is he, is he like? Was he the captain at some point? No <laughs> give me an answer. Seamus Coleman. Is that your answer, or are you just thinking out loud? No, that's not my answer because you would have said correct. Um, so I'm just thinking out loud. Seamus Coleman. Correct. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it got sent off against Switzerland. Okay, at the end of round three, it is Adrian four, Jer two, Nathan nil. Round four is. Am I not the- a five? No, you couldn't possibly no. be on five. There's only been three rounds, and one of them was a two points. Oh, yeah, fair uh, round four is the fun free magic number round. <laughs> <laughs> Contestants get three points getting the number exactly right, and if nobody manages that, the nearest contestant who doesn't go bust gets two points. The second closest then gets one point. So, if you don't mind, give us the following number. Do we have pen and paper? Mm, yeah. Good stuff. Uh, the number of players whose goal scoring tally was more than one goal during Nick McCarthy's second tenure as Ireland boss. Plus, the number of All-Ireland medals won by Christy Ring. Plus, the number of NBA teams Michael Jordan played for. Plus, the number of consecutive All-Irelands won by Dublin in women's football after 2019. Your 30 seconds expire when Sinatra sings Bright Shiny Beads. After 2019? What? Sorry, after after 2019 All-Ireland. What? Was it was spot? Okay. How many consecutive All Irelands have Dublin won in women's football right now? How many oh, teams sorry, okay. in the NBA has Michael Jordan played for? Uh, the number of All Ireland medals won by Christy Ring, and then the number of players who scored more than one goal under Mick McCarthy during his second watch as Ireland manager. A couple of seconds, lads. Pens down. Right. Hands down. Come on, Nathan. Nathan. Hands down. Start Googling. Stop Nathan. it. Nathan, what stop have you got, off? Nathan? 12. 12. Adrian? 14. 14. Adrian's got 12. 12. 12. The answer is 13. Oh, oh yes. So it is was it? two points apiece was... for uh, Nathan and Adrian. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Adrian is flying at the moment. Is it not four in a row? Do you know, and I was actually I was going to go for I was going to go for one more there, but look at yeah, I, I got everything right except the doves, and they get everything wrong. So you didn't get win. everything right. You got one wrong. Uh, okay, let's go through them. The number of players whose goal scoring tally was above zero, uh, one goal, zero. zero. Yeah, no one scored more than one goal. Uh, the number of all-Ireland medals won by Christy Ring, six, eight, six. eight. eight. Oof. Look at these two. Look at these two Luddites. <laughs> Pearls before swine. Like, Look at them. No, you've, you've no sense of knowledge or history or anything. You've literally spent, yeah, yeah, you've spent last Everybody week knows Christy Ring won eight all Ireland's. Oh my God. You, you, West Brits. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, think if, I, think, <laughs> I think we've learned one thing. The idea that we had of doing the crappy quiz after a rake of pints. May yeah. not be one to go to, to go with. <laughs> the, uh, the the number of NBA teams Michael Jordan has played for. 
Two. Uh, two, I put in. Two, yeah. Bulls well, and the Wizards. Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> and then <laughs> Dublin have won three consecutive All Ireland women's titles. Three, yeah. Uh, so that brings you to 13. Right. The scores at the moment are Adrian six, Jar four, Nathan two. We're on to the final. Uh, How's Jar on four? The boys. How is he on four? That's an excellent question. Oh, That's... sorry, sorry. Jar's only on two. Yeah. Like sorry, yeah. Six, it's 6 2 2. Six, two so who two. goes first, me or Jer? Adrian goes first. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you drinking as well there? Did you have a cheeky pint when you were... <laughs> uh, and then in between... I tossed the coin earlier between Adrian and Nathan and Adrian won no, the coin toss. No, Jer and Nathan. <laughs> How many of you had? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Between me Jer and Jer. Nathan. Uh, Nathan won that coin toss. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're literally picking this up. <laughs> that used to exist as like, oh, maybe that actually happened. Uh, I think you've just fully pulled the veil off there. <laughs> oh, I'll have them down on my sheet. So we're going from sure. Adrian to Nathan to Jer, and that's our order. That's Adrian. the same sheet that you had the last time. You, you just need to update the sheet and go, okay, you know, by the process of elimination, he won that coin toss. There's actually a greater chance that I will win the next coin toss. Well, expecting 50 50 is not always a good outcome. Adrian, are you ready? This would take some bottle job for Adrian not to win it. This will champ, be champ, champ, champ. Here we come. Come on, let's do it. Here we go. Bottle jobs. A- Adrian Barry, your 40 seconds starts now. What club is Aidan McGeady on loan at now? Ipswich. <laughs> no, Charlton. Uh, who topped Ireland's Rugby World Cup pool in 2003? France. No, Australia. Uh, in what year will the, sum- the next Summer Olympics take place, sir? 2021. Correct. Uh, which city is set to host the Olympics after Tokyo? Paris. Correct. Name the Arsenal manager before Mikel Arteta. Arsene Wenger. No. Ooh, I I am uh, in what year did Paul Jack Harrington win his first major, Adrian? 2009. No. 07. What county is Sheffield United's John Egan from, Nathan? Cork. Correct. Time is up. So, ah, come on! Time is up. Ad- Adrian yeah, holds on for the win. Yeah, it it's uh, finished. Adrian, four points. Jura, three points. Nathan, two points. Uh, congratulations, Adrian. Champ, doing again. Is champ. that three in a row? I've said, I, I've said, champ, I've, champ, I've said this before. I've said champ. this before. We need to extend the time on the rapid fire. That's a nonsense. You got one, two, three, four, five, seven questions in. Come on. How many did you, how many did you get there in the rapid fire, Nathan? Did well, right? I got as many as you when got. You I wrong, more, actually, wait, I got more than you got. More than you yeah. got. Uh, he's, dropped out. he's dropped out. He's you, dropped out. He's dropped out. You literally out. didn't get a single question right in the rapid fire. So, but, uh, but overall, I ended up with how many points on? Just to recap, four. Hang on, four. hang on. Did they, they both. How did Nathan end up two. with two? Oh yeah. So I see. No, I see. I see. How, I see how the quiz works. Those those who end up on most points win. They both got. They, hang on. They both got champ, two champ, points champ. for finishing in the uh, numbers range. Should they not get a point and a half? It oh, wouldn't make any difference. Not. They wouldn't make it. Uh, also, would. I'm sorry. Would a quiz? You finished on four, and I finished on three. No, no, also, champ, I think champ, I, champ. I do think myself and Jer have very good reason to dispute this because the great thing about quizzes, and we love quizzes, and we love the crappy quiz, is that there's nothing subjective about it. You either know the answer or you don't. So, <laughs> what are you worried about? What are you worried about? You're slurring your words well, after half. You're not making any sense now. This <laughs> is like. Adrian, you either know the answer or you don't. You either know the answer or you don't. I mean, that's Adrian, yeah, but it, you got two extra points for a pint to Guinness. But yeah, yes. Sorry, I just remembered. Beautiful. That was obscene. But that's you can't beautiful. even see. That was you completely murdered, obscene. You both murdered your, pi- your points. What, what's next week? Right. Like, what's next week? Why are you going to, start, going to start handing points out for next week? So that was your opinion. Badly judged opinion because his camera opinion. angle is grainier than ours. So, like, it's an outrage. Oh, no. It was so you didn't actually answer points. any more questions yes, than yes, anybody yes. else. Have you, Nathan, Nathan, have you, Nathan, Nathan, have you, Doesn't have, count. You ever, have you ever lost a quiz where you haven't bitched and moaned about it, where you've actually sat back and said, listen, fair enough. No, I think, I think, I think we'd all agree. This is the most, I didn't lose the quiz part. I didn't lose the how quiz can, part. How can no, you argue with, I, I actually won the, with, I won the quiz part. I won the quiz part. No, it's like argument at this point, argue with Dublin's dominance. Like, the last three quizzes I've partaken in, one, W, W, W. <laughs> well, he just he just keeps making up nonsensical rounds. Just do the quiz Cheers, and made the way Cheers. it's meant to be done. Chin chin, chin chin, indeed. Uh, a pleasure, lads. Enjoy your long weekend. <laughs>